So the next thing we want to do is kind of make a stair that comes down here um, and attaches to or gets you closer to the water. It's going to look a little bit like this one, um, but slightly different. So we have a straight stair that's coming down with walls around it, and then it kind of curves around to the water. Oh, and there'll be a floor. The floors are turned off here, so I'll go to Reveal Hidden Elements. Um, and I can't pick the floors because they're in a design option. Um, I'll get rid of Exclude Design Options and pick that floor, unhide the category, and toggle the Reveal Hidden Elements. So we're going to make a floor, straight stair, and then a sort of curved wall to the to that guy. So um, let's close that. No. Now the first thing we want to do is put in a level. So we have a kind of level for that. Um, if I go to my site plan, you can actually put, um, like if I, I can figure out what level that contour is. So maybe I want to come down to this contour. So if I go to massing and site, I can label the contours. And if I click here to here, Right, it'll tell me that that's negative 10, so I want to put a level in at negative 10. So here I have some sections that I can use. I don't really need these, so I'll just delete them, get rid of them, so they're not in my way. Um, I want to use this section also to kind of see what's going on. So I'm going to release it from the scope box, because it's set to a scope box. I'm going to click None, and that's going to allow me to access these pull handles, which will allow me to drag this kind of into the water. And then I'll just pull the annotation that far. And so if I now double click, I can see this guy and I can come and pull it, you know, until I can see there's the water and then there's this guy. So what I need to do is add a level and the levels are turned off. Let's turn the shadows off. So again, reveal hidden elements, pick the levels and unhide the category and then toggle the reveal hidden elements mode so you can see them. If you really want to, you can come in and sort of arrange these to where they look a little better, um, but it's kind of up to you, honestly. Um, we're not gonna use this in a view, I don't think, so it doesn't need to be super perfect. All right, so I'm gonna pick one of these levels and right click on it and create similar, and then left click somewhere down here and then pull it over somewhere to here, right? And I almost got there, negative 10 foot 8. So I'm going to change that to negative 10 and change this to base, right? Okay. So um, at this point, what we want to do is now put in the stair because we have the two different um, levels. And so actually, let's put in the floor first and then we'll put in the stair. So if I go to the site, I can go ahead, or actually let's go to plan A1. It's a little easier to see. So I'm gonna come in and put a little landing floor here um, just to come out a little bit. So I'll go to architecture and floor. And in the pull down, I'm gonna pick the generic 12 inch concrete. And then I'm just gonna do a rectangle for the boundary line. And I'll come in here and let's make it, I don't know, five feet seems fine. Um, and click there and then check. So it's gonna place this on five feet and then push it down right below to the um, below the level. It just yelled at me because it's intersecting with the topography, but that's all right for me right now. Okay, so um, the next thing I wanna do is, I guess we could create the stair next um, and then create the walls, right? That sort of come around it. Um, I guess it depends, like maybe this would be in here. I don't know, we'll do, we'll do the stairs. So um, let me go ahead and close the hidden windows and let's go back to 3D and WTZA. Um, the floor's not showing up in, in the 3D view because they're turned off. So again, reveal hidden elements, pick the floor and unhide the category, right? Um, and now we'll go ahead over here and sort of create the stair. So go to architecture and stair, and we're gonna go to the assembled stair seven and 11 white, right? Um, you could actually make this a little bit gentler, you know, 
So maybe we'll do that. So if I go to edit type, I'm going to make a new kind of stair, a new type of stair. I'll duplicate this and I'll make it six inch max and 12 inch tread. Right. And click OK. And then you can change the maximum riser height here from seven to six and the minimum tread depth to 12. All right. And then click OK. Now it wants us to say, what's the base level? Well, I want the level to be base. And then I want the top level to be at plan A1, right? And then um, I'll just come in and it's doing the center of the run right now. So if I come over here, I can just pick in the midpoint of this and it will do, and it'll tell you when you reach your run, like you can see it telling you how many more risers you need. And then when you left click, right, and if I hit the check button, now I have a stair that's kind of going the wrong way, right? It's going low there and high there. So I'll just flip it. So um, if I pick this, there's a little flip arrow, and now it's flipped the other way. And now I'm going to edit the stairs, and that'll take me back into sketch mode. And I can kind of pull this guy out to there. Let's align it align with that that right the thing that's a little um annoying about like how this works is now if i try to pick this and move it it won't really give me a snap place and then if i align it that to that it moves it so what you can do is you can actually you can see this little dot um it's doing the location line at the run center let's do run left right so now it's moved that little dot up there right um so let's do and now if we do a line here right it moves it again and if we do a line here right it moves it again so basically what you need to do is let's just do a distance from here to here is 11 foot six so if I pick that, I can just come in here and do 11 foot six, right? And it'll make that the correct distance. And then if I hit check, right, I'll come in and I've got this stair, right, going along there. So that it, don't worry about the fact that it's going in the topography. We'll fix that later. And now the next thing we're going to do is create the, um, the walls.